My name is Shelley. I'm one of the medical students of the CLIC. Just to make sure I'm talking to the right person first of all, if I could just get a few of your details. Mm -hmm. So, what was your full name? Frank Smith. And your age? 21. And your date of birth? 1st of January 2000. And what was your occupation? A uh, student. Great. Uh, were you Aboriginal or Torres Strait Islander origin? No. No. Okay. Um, so, today I've been asked by a doctor to do a respiratory exam on you. So that'll just involve me having a look, having a listen, and doing a few special tests on various parts of your arms, face, neck, and chest. Um, in order to do this examination, it will require you to take off your shirt. Um, does that sound all okay with you? Yeah. Yeah. And I did want to reassure you that everything done in this consultation will remain strictly confidential between you, me, and your treating medical team. Um, but without further ado, are you happy to get started? Yeah. Fantastic. So I'll start off by just having a look at how you are at rest. Um, I'll be reporting back to the examiner as I go, um, but if you have any questions about what I'm saying, feel free to let me know. So, um, having spoken to you just then, it doesn't seem like you're currently short of breath at all, you're speaking in normal sentences, you're sitting quite comfortably. Um, it doesn't seem like you have any oxygen going, there's no inhalers or anything around you, and no sputum cut next to you, and there are no cannulas anywhere. Um, so, as you are, uh, normal body habitus, and there was no cough, which was dry or wet in nature, um, and it doesn't seem like you're currently in any acute respiratory distress. So no movement of the um, accessory muscles at all, no breathing through pursed lips, and your chest seems to be moving symmetrically. Um, I would also like to know all of your vital signs, so that would include getting your oxygen saturation, your rest rate, your blood pressure, your pulse. So um, now having a look at your hands, first of all, it doesn't seem like there's any signs of peripheral cyanosis, they're nice and pink and well perfused. Um, flipping them over, it doesn't look like there's any tar staining of the fingers or of the nails, that would be evidence of smoking. And flipping it over again, I haven't noticed any wasting of the muscles of the hand. Um, I'll get you to splay out your fingers and I'll be pushing them together, just resist me as much as you can. Yeah, and there doesn't seem to be any weakness of the intrinsic muscles of the hands either. I'll move this to the side. If you could just put your fingernails together like this for me. So there doesn't seem to be any clubbing. And if you could just put your hands out in front of you like this. And then I'll push back on your hands as well. So just resist. Yeah, and there doesn't seem to be any asterixis, which would be a sign of CO2 retention. So I'll move on to having a look at your face. So overall, it doesn't seem like there's any um, facial flushing um, and no facial blueness either. Having a look at your eyes, um, there aren't any signs of Horner's syndrome. So that would include things like meiosis, anhydrosis, or ptosis. So normal pupils, there's no drooping of the eyelids, and they seem not particularly dry or anything. I'll move on to having a look at your nose, so don't mind me. There doesn't seem to be any engorged turbinates or nasal polyps or deviated septum. And having a look at your ears, there doesn't seem to be any um, signs of infection or abnormal discharge. Um, I'll just have a feel over your forehead and cheeks, if that's okay. Is there any pain at all? No. No. So no signs of tenderness of the sinuses. And I'll get you to stick your tongue at me. Ah. Uh. And I'll just have a look. Yeah. And just give me a smile. Great. Um, so no signs of central cyanosis. Um, there was no crowding of the pharynx or erythema of the pharynx. And um, the oral hygiene seemed all good. No signs of infection or anything. So we'll continue to examining your neck. So first of all, I'll feel for some lymph nodes. Are you currently experiencing any neck pain at all? Sure. So tell me if you feel any pain at all. Um, first of all, the submental. Submandibular, tonsillar, preauricular, postauricular, and occipital. Um, superficial cervical. And then if you could look to the right. Deep cervical. Look to the left. Deep cervical. And then look straight ahead, shrug your shoulders, supraclavicular, and then shoulders back down, posterior cervical. No tenderness at all? No. Great. I'll just get you to lie down onto the pillow. So now having a look at the neck. So I'll just have a feel, okay? I'll just check if your windpipe is in the centre, so no tracheal deviation. I'll get you to take a deep breath into me. No tracheal tug. And I'll have you look to the left. 
So JVP seems to be present and it's normal. Um, I'll just get you to sit back up. And if you could just put your hands up for me. Um, and there doesn't seem to be any reddening of the face, so that would be considered a negative Pemberton sign. So now having a look at the chest. First of all, it doesn't seem like there's any signs of any redness or rashes, um, or any scars or any swellings. Breathing seems to be symmetrical so far. There are no uh, skeletal deformities at all, so of the back there's no scoliosis or kyphoscoliosis. And of the chest, there doesn't seem to be any pigeon chestedness or barrel chestedness, um, or any Harrison sulcus or pectus excavatum. Um, I have a feel over your chest. Are you currently having any pain anywhere? No, okay. So tell me if you experience any pain at all. No pain? Okay, sure. I didn't notice any obvious swellings and there wasn't any tenderness. And I'll get you to take a deep breath in for me. And deep breath out. Okay, and a deep breath in. And a deep breath out. Yeah, so expansion of the chest was symmetrical and it was adequate as well. Now I'm just okay. going to tap on various parts of your chest. Um, so this is just percussion. So tell me if you experience any pain or discomfort and then I'll stop. Arms up for me. I'll just go to the back. Arms across. Great. So it doesn't seem like there was any dullness on percussion, but there was also no hyper resonance. So it sounds all normal. So we'll just assess for um, vocal fremitus and then vocal resonance. So I'll just get you to say 99 over and over again for me, okay? 99. 99. 99. Yeah. And I'll have a listen whilst you say that now. So go again. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. Great. Thank you. So now I'll just have a listen to your breath sounds. So just breathe in and out through your mouth for me. And arms up like a chicken for me. And arms crossed over your chest. So it doesn't seem like there were any um, additional breath sounds at all. There was adequate air entry, so there was no wheeze or crepitations. So that's the main part of the respiratory exam. Um, I would also like to do a cardiac exam, um, assess your abdomen for any organomegaly, as well as assess for any other, um, I guess, edema in the body, including the lower limb and the sacrum. Um, and I would also do a more targeted ENT examination as well if I had the time. But otherwise, that's all I really wanted to do for today. Um, thank you so much for your time. Feel free to put your shirt back on.